Hello everybody, my name is Nael. I'm a SSC dive master and a paddy rescue diver and I've been diving all around the world for about 10 years now. And I've noticed that the one main concern of the beginners are the oxygen consumption. Uh, during the dive they are always afraid that they are going to be a burden for the group because they use their oxygen very quickly. Uh, they want to explore more but they can't because of the oxygen consumption. So I know that air consumption depends on a lot of things. Uh, could depend on your lung capacity, could depend on the depth of the dive, uh, how you breathe in the water, the, what we call the breathing rate um, that can calculate at the end of the dive. But I want to give you the tips that I used to reduce my oxygen consumption and be able to do a one hour and a half dive by using half of my tank in a 20 meters deep dive. So my first tip would be to be aware of how you breathe. Because you're underwater, your brain is going to say, stop, hold the breath, it's underwater, you can't breathe. So you really have to train it to just make that switch and say, okay, I'm underwater, I can breathe. It can be just consciously breathing in and out. Um, usually what I do is I breathe in, I hold my breath for at least, let's say, two seconds, and then let it go. But I don't do that when I go up and down, uh, because it could be dangerous for your lungs to just hold your breath. But if you're stable and enjoying your dive, you can train yourself to do that. Or you just go in the pool and train yourself to just consciously breathe the more efficient way. Don't breathe, hold your breath until your brain just say breathe and then go. You just inhale, exhale. Sometimes you can practice it uh, when going to sleep. I know it helps me a lot uh, to put me to sleep when I just consciously concentrate on the way I breathe. It, he it helps me relax and enjoy more my life to concentrate on the way I breathe just to try and get used to do that because I know it's not the regular way for people to breathe. There is a popular belief that smokers are better diver in the way that they don't use as much air as others. That's just because they already know how to take deep breath. Not consciously in the way of diving, but they consciously breathe in, hold and then exhale. You don't need to start smoking to have a better air consumption. It just depends on the way that you think of breathing. My second tip would be to work on your buoyancy. I started diving when I was a teenager and honestly I was all over the place. I kicked the bottom, I was up and down all the time and it's just when I started to work on my buoyancy that my oxygen consumption started decreasing. Simply because when you put air on your jacket you're using the same air that you're breathing so that's air that you're not going to use to breathe uh, that you put on your jacket. The best way to reduce the air consumption is by having a neutral buoyancy which means just the right amount of weight that you'll be able to be comfortable in a dive. That could be tricky because it depends on every situation but over the time you'll learn how much weight you need but buoyancy is not just being overweight or just having the right amount of weight. It's also the way your body is underwater. One of my tricks to be naturally buoyant is to contract my abdominals and just have a very flat body. By contracting that part of my body, I allow my back to be completely straight and to my fin to be natural extent of my body when I'm diving. I also not kick up and down, I frog kick most of the time. That way if I need to go up or down, I just use my breath or my lungs as my buoyancy device. Uh, if I need to go up, I just take a deep breath. And if I want to go down, I just exhale. I know it sounds really complicated right now, but try it in a pool. Once you get the trick, when you, once you Get that feeling in your body that you're completely flat. I think you might understand what I'm talking about. One exercise I had myself do a lot of times 
is that on a pull you have you know these like square things that make lines and I try to stay at the depth of that line for 5-10 minutes just to make sure I'm, my buoyancy is perfect and I won't have any issue in the water. It won't be perfect for the first time. I've been diving for 10 years, I get some tricks and I grew up diving so I think it was more easy for me to just adapt and grow up diving than for some people to consciously make the effort for their body to take the diving position so I know I was very lucky to start diving young so maybe what I'm telling you is like nonsense and you say you're never gonna be able to do it just try it and talk to your dive master of what you could do um, if you're not able to have a flat back for any reason maybe they have an alternative or other tricks that they could provide you finally my last tip is completely on the way to breathe um, it might sound a bit crazy also but I'm gonna add some videos of me demonstrating it so it makes a little bit of more sense maybe you already know that there is different ways of breathing for example I can inhale from my belly or my sides and what I do underwater is mainly breathing from this part of my body and not this part that way I can be wider but not deeper by getting myself wider I also allow myself to be naturally buoyant in the way I breathe of course if I really want my lungs to be the device that put me up I'm go not gonna do that but if I want to breathe and not move I'm gonna breathe this way it might take you a couple of attempts to do this I know it's not that easy to do but once you get the trick you know again try this technique while being on a commute or trying to get asleep because it's not a relevant time to do it and once you get the the distinction try it on a pool and you'll see how different it is so i am aware that these are not the easiest tricks um, you've seen you have to work on your body you have to understand how it works these were the best tricks i had during my diving career so i hope they helped you at least give you a bit of a clue of what you could change in your way of diving. If you have any other tricks that you used and that worked a lot for you, please let them in the comment section because everybody is different. Everybody evolves on the diving differently. So if this worked for me, it might not work for you, but something that someone else experienced uh, could be the best match for you. I do scuba diving videos every month. I cover a subject that you request or that I think it's important. So if you have anything, any question, let me know in the comment section. I'll try to have an entire topic on that or at least respond on the comment section. Otherwise I'm doing travel videos on this channel, um, sometimes involving scuba diving so you can always subscribe to my channel to be notified every time I upload a video you can give me a thumbs up to say that you like this video and you want to see more and I hope to see you next time bye